Recently, we got some reports said that after firmware update for RT3S, the radio will appear mass screen or won't turn on the radio. All of this because of wrong firmware updating. Today, let's learn how to upgrade RT3S firmware correctly. Before upgrade firmware, firstly, we need to confirm your radio is DPS or without DPS version. Secondly, download the correct firmware from Red Waste Resource Center. Thirdly, use the correct bin file when updating. Let's begin the upgrading operation. Go to Red Waste Resource Center and find RT3S firmware and download it. Open the file and zip it. Install the firmware upgrade AXE software. Next, let's recheck update firmware files. You can see that there have four bin files, two CSV files, two IEC record files, and two uh, files for GPS version and two files for non-GPS version. Okay, let's begin to upgrade firmware for RT3S. For firmware updating, the radio needs to enter DFU mode. Press the PTT button and upset key, and then turn on the radio. You will enter the DFU mode, and then connect the cable to your computer. My radio is GPS version. I will update CSV GPS version. Download upgrade file successfully. Okay, let's turn off the radio and turn on it again. Let's we check the radio version. Okay, next let's we check what will you get if you upgrade wrong firmware. For example, if you directly update the firmware when the radio is on. You can see that the radio will display a mice screen. Another wrong operation. 
use the incorrect firmware file. My radio is TPS version. As we check if I upgrade the non-TPS version, how will the, dis the radio display? You can see that the radio won't turn on. Okay, let's get back to the correct firmware. Also press the PTT and upset key turn on the radio. Here we can see the radio gets back to normal. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. 73.